Hey, what's going on everybody? In this episode today, I wanna to talk a little bit, just for a couple minutes, about the differences between being a solo owner operator or growing your company in order to have employees and really turning it into a business, okay? I hear a lot of people talk about online that the best way to do your company is to stay small. And I, I understand where they're coming from with that because there's less bills, there's less overhead, uh, there's just a lot of less, right? And then, you know, you've got your guys, and I was one of those with 20-something employees who say, no, 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 it's better to grow your company and grow your business so that you don't have to be in the field. So I wanted to talk quickly about a few reasons why you should think about the positives and negatives on both sides of that. Let's go with the solo first. By the way, we're standing at the entrance of one of the first neighborhoods and my first customer ever back in 2017. So that's why we're filming it here. Uh, this is when I got 10, 10 contracts, 10 customers, was able to start Trifecta landscaping my company. And so kind of nostalgic, we were driving by and I was like, hey Logan, let's, let's film it here. But um, when you're solo, there's a lot of benefits. One, if you're an owner operator, you can pay yourself the profits and you can pay yourself as a laborer. So you kind of double dip. So there's so there's some positives. Two, you can control your workflow a little bit easier because you can say, hey, I don't want to do that yard. Um, I've got 58 other ones and I don't want to be working till five tonight. So you can <laughs> keep your schedule uh, suppressed, if you will. The other is no real bills. I mean, you've got you know your overhead, your gas and all that stuff but you've got no payroll. Maybe you have one person helping you. Uh, you're all the money coming to the company besides expenses that are you know, needed go to you. So there's a lot of benefits there. Now let's go to the business side um, and, and why you should maybe explore that. The pros for the business side can show you the cons, the negatives of why it's good to be a solo entrepreneur and operator. Um, when you're solo, you can break your leg and you're out of business, right? That's something I've talked about for a long time. When you have a business and you have 10 people working for you, when someone calls out sick, your business is still operating. When you have the flu at home and you're a solo operator, an entrepreneur, you're out of business for four or five days, that might affect your family's life. I mean, you might need that week's paycheck to pay the bills. And so um, the other positive on the business side is when you have a team of people, it's not all on your back. You're not the admin, you're not the accounting, you're not the marketing and sales, you're not the quote guy. You know, you have a team of people. And for me, I really enjoyed having people uh, to be able to work with me to grow my company. Some of you may not look like, <laughs> for the longest time, I thought there was only one way to do this and that was grow your company. And over the last year or so, I've realized a little bit more as I've grown and hopefully matured that your desires equals your goals. So if you wanna be small and you're happy with that, be small. If you wanna grow your company, employ people, change lives in that way, do that. But there's pros and cons on both sides. Um, when it comes to, you know, LMN, you know, this, this is something where I talk about as you grow your company and your costs get exuberantly more, you know, like our payroll uh, was in the $15,000 a week range. I really needed to know my costs. When you're a small, your costs, they're so minimal. You can get away with, uh, you know, not paying as much attention. Um, when you're, you know, growing and scaling, you know, elements job costing feature, your efficiency in the in the routes that Element helps you do, um, or whatever software you use, but for us, Element's the best uh, in our opinion. And so using tools is really critical as you grow and scale. So hopefully this helps you understand the pros and cons of both sides of the coin. That sounds super duty, $70,000 truck. Um, hopefully that helps you understand the pros and cons. And again, you just gotta make the choice for yourself. What are your dreams? What are your goals? What are your desires? Thanks, guys. Xander Green, sure guy. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you follow along. Love talking about this stuff with every one of you in the green industry or interested. See you later.